guys what is up welcome back to my channel my name is Meryl if you are new here hello welcome thank you for joining me today and if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back I appreciate it so it feels like it's been <laughs> I filmed a video like a couple weeks like maybe three weeks ago but I never posted it um, I was just super busy with my job I had at that time I was working on set for like maybe like six weeks I think it was and the hours were insane so I just had literally no time to do anything else except for work and sleep and have a couple beers anyways so I had filmed a video but I never posted it because I just I don't know it probably wasn't that great <laughs> and I was like eh, fuck it, I'm just gonna refilm something else so that's where we are today we're filming something else <laughs> so while I was away <laughs> I made some orders and uh, now I have all those orders here. Well, most of them, but we don't have to talk about that. <laughs> we don't have to talk about those of you who think I have a shopping problem. We're just gonna move right past it, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyways, one thing, actually, to be fair, <laughs> I'm just like justifying myself spending shit tons of money on makeup. Um, anyways, let's, let's, uh, Let's justify. <laughs> I ordered this palette. This is a Raw Beauty Christie times Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I ordered this months ago, okay? And it arrived a couple weeks, about a week and a half ago, I would say, maybe two weeks ago. Anyways, it is the most beautiful palette I think I've ever put my eyes on. <laughs> so it's double-sided. There's 18 shadows in here. This is the neutral side. Literally, look at that. It is so stunning. And this is the other side, the colorful side, which is also magical. It's truly just so beautiful. So we're gonna use this today and probably every day <laughs> for ever, I wanna say. And I also picked up one of her eyelashes as well. I got them in the style, I almost said shade. I got them in the style lovely. So these were like the not as dramatic of the two, but they're still fucking hella dramatic in my opinion. But they're super beautiful. They look very long, so I'll have like this way. <laughs> uh, so I'll have to trim them to fit my eyeball is what I'm trying to fucking say here. <laughs> also, I mostly got my Glossier Boy Braflex. Was running dry and I also just found that it was too dark of a shade so I had to go to Sephora. <laughs> I had to, okay? <laughs> this was also a couple weeks ago. Um, anyways, I went to Sephora and I picked up a couple things and one thing I, I got was a brow pen. So I got the Anastasia brow pen. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. That's what I'll say about that but it's what I have right now. So that's what we're gonna use. Also, I was watching Alana Rama's videos, and she said, well, ow, I just pinched that. Um, anyways, long story short, Benefit sent her brow pens and said, oh yes, do your brows first without any like stuff on your face, because that will clog the little pen tip. So, I've been, when I remember, I've been trying to do my brows first with this little pen, so that the tip stays nice and not clogged. So let's, let's do our brows first. Anastasia brow pen in taupe and I would like to say that I think that this brow pen matches my root hair color pretty nicely so I'm not mad about this shade okay brow time and then just brush through with a spoolie even though like by this point it's probably already dried down and like settled but you know comb it through see isn't that like pretty good color i am not mad at it also the way i store these pens like i don't know if this is an obvious thing or like maybe people anyways i always store it with the tip facing down that way the ink goes down this way and it doesn't go back towards the end of the pen and it doesn't dry out as quick. I always store any liquid pens, even like regular writing pens, always store them that way, tip facing down. Um, okay, my next little brow step is taking some brow gel. I also ran out of my boy brow and you know, 
shit's expensive and it just takes a long ass time to ship here so I was like I need something in the meantime I haven't reordered anything from Glossier so I have purchased and this also was like a couple weeks ago okay uh I purchased the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow and I got this in the shade Light I'd used this before but I got it in medium and it was far too deep for my eyebrows but I really like this color match and I think it works well with the taupe so I just take a little bit of brow gel and fluff up the brows focusing most of it on the outer brow and just like a tiny bit in the front let's uh jump into some skincare here so I've been loving my Ren clean skincare global protection day cream I will use this every single day this is such a nice moisturizer um, usually I would go in with some sunscreen, but I'm not going outside today, <laughs> so we're going to skip that part. But I will take some of this Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is just like a little tester guy that I got for my birthday gift back in September. I'm going to mix those two together and apply this to the face. And I always put the leftover on the back of my hands. Taking some of this Ula Henriksen um, Banana Bright Eye Cream. Now we're going in with our Kaja Catnap Under Eye Brightener. And I'm going to take my Makeup Racer sponge and blend that on in. Next I'm going in with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Is this light weird? Anyways, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And then just going in with my sponge again. Okay, I um, picked up a concealer, NYX Cosmetics, and I got the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer, and I like this concealer quite a lot. It's nice. I don't, I don't love the applicator because, like, it's not the cleanest, but I mean, how is it different from this as an applicator, you know? It's the same kind of thing, so I'm gonna use it either way. Not about that sound though. And blend it up. Okay. Next thing I have <laughs> to put on my face is also the Born to Glow Radiant Foundation from NYX as well. And I have this in the shade Light, and my concealer is in the shade Vanilla. This stuff comes out real quick, so just be aware of that. But I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to just dip my sponge directly into this little sploosh and uh, apply. And I, this is a really good shade match for me in my opinion. Normally during this time, while I let my base product settle in, I would put my brows on, but my brows are already on. So let's just uh, put on some chapstick and uh, sit in silence with our thoughts. Oh my gosh, that foundation is so dewy. It's so pretty. I love it. And it is not expensive, people. I got this at uh, Shoppers? Yes, Shoppers. It's a nice foundation. I quite like it. And now let's talk for some bronzer. I'm going in with our Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. And I'm taking it on this e.l.f. airbrush stippling brush. It's the best bronzer brush out there. This next thing I have here is pretty vulgar and I also got this, or I got this in my BoxyCharm box. So I'm going to go in with this blush right here, uh, Nesting Bitch Face Noun. When you've had a resting, when you've had a resting bitch face since birth, and 
I can agree with that sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Hush Blush, and it looks super cute. I haven't used it yet. And we're also doing our Patrick Ta trick, where we do the blush powder first, and then we go back in with a cream. So I'm just taking a tiny bit, taking that much. This is probably going to be enough for both sides. Let's just pat that in. Oh, this is cute. How freaking cute is that? I'll take this brush and I'm going to take my Tower 28 Magic Hour. And a little on the nose. Have you ever seen a doerier bitch in your life? Can't say I have. Next, we're going to go in with our highlight. And I haven't used this in a hot ass minute. This is the Lila B highlight in The Enchanting. Um, I haven't used this in a very long time, so I think I'll take it on my finger. It's like a cream. It is a cream. Just blend it onto the back of my hand. Because I remember her having some issues with this just because it can be chunky sometimes, so I don't need any of that. And we'll just do a little bit because we're pretty fucking glowy if you ask me. But I like it. Well then, there you have it. A glowy ass bitch. I think I will set my under eyes. Should I use a brush? I never use a brush to set my under eyes, but maybe today we will. I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Labs. It's completely rubbed off. Sublime Blurring Perfection Under Eye Powder or something like that. We're just gonna tap on the under eyes. Look at how much is fucking kicking back here, dude. That's a lot. All right, the face is on. We are done with the face. What should we do to the eyes? Like, these are real fucking pretty shadows, dude. Let me tell you that. Should I swatch some for you? I kind of want to compare the two yellows beside each other. So, do, oh, that is stunning. Mustard if I ever saw mustard myself. <laughs> okay, idiot. Those are the two yellow shadows together. They're the side by side. So the top one is um, Dandelion and the bottom one is Camelot. They're real pretty. Real, real pretty. Oh, damn. That's the red. That is real red. That is called Flavor Town. And this obviously is cruelty free. Uh, because Raw Beauty Christie is cruelty free. Please recycle cruelty free, gluten free, vegan friendly. Love that. Because most of the time for red shadows, they would use carmine in it, which is crushed up beetle shells. So I'm glad there's no fucking beetle shells in here. I don't know what to do. Ooh, give me a minute here. I'm just gonna start putting stuff on and see what the heck happens. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with my whole heart. With <laughs> cute, which is this one right here. It's just like a skin tone shadow from my skin tone. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Oh, that's like the perfect skin tone shadow for me. That's great. And it looks like a lot of these could work out for like skin tone shadows for deeper skin tones as well. It's a beautiful palette. All right. I think I'm gonna go in with these browns because they just look so stunning not to use. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this Urban Studio brush and we're gonna go in with Told You, I think. Why not? Let's go in with Told You, which is this one right here. It's, oh, wow, I just swatched it. It feels like butter. Like it's so soft wow that truly does just it's so pigmented there's quite a bit of kickback I'm really hoping it doesn't lead to a shit ton of fallout but we shall see right now so I'm going to focus this on the crease and this is like a really nice dense brush Oh, that blended out 
so perfectly. Although Live It this year is a shit ton of kickback in it. I don't know if it's focusing. Um, but I don't seem to have any fallout, which is A++. Alright, I'm going to take this little Morphe brush. I got this in BoxyCharm a while ago. And I'm going to go in now with Copper Boxes, which is this one right here. And we're going to bring that lower onto the lid. And now I'm just dipping back into uh, Told You with this previous brush. I'm just going to bring it to the high crease area. I'm going to go in with this ColourPop E10 brush. This is like a super small kind of pencil brush. And I'm going to take You're Not My Real Dad, which is this one right down here, and just deepen up the outer V slightly. Maybe even bring this down the bottom waterline. All right, well, somebody's showering upstairs, so I went ahead and did my other eye, but with hopes that they would be done, but they are obviously not. So let's just finish up this eye and continue on with our lives. Shall we? What have I even done? Oh yeah, okay. Alright, so, I'm gonna take my whole heart, the uh, light skin tone shadow, and we're gonna blend that into the top of the, cr the lid here, because it's looking like, you know, a little harsh. So we're just gonna take the very first base shadow we used and blend that in. You see how it just softens it so nicely? Like, it really corrects all of it. It looks a hundred times better now, in my, my humble opinion. And I'm going to take a little bit of that as well, just onto the bottom of the V. Yeah. It's like a magic eraser. It just literally makes it look fucking way better, dude. And then you can always go back in with your blending brush and just, you know, Dibble dabble away until it looks the way you want it to. Also, the mirror in here is fantastic. Love a good mirror in a palette. Like, that looks way more neat. Um, next up, we're gonna take Golden Ticket, which is the beautiful shimmer in the center of the patio. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? In the patio? <laughs> Bitch, where are you? What? Um, what I meant to say in the middle of the palette. <laughs> I don't know where we got patio from. That's new. <laughs> Anyways, just taking that with my finger. Starting at the, in the center and working our way in. And looking down to the outside to get right into the inner corner. The patio? I mean, I wish I was on a patio in the sun, but we are not. Okay, I'm gonna take this little rando brush and go in with Told You, which is this one, Ooh. right there, and uh, start to blend this into the bottom waterline. And now I'm just swirling that off onto my little towel I have over here. And we're gonna go in with copper boxes. Why do I do everything so weird? This one right here. And we're taking that into the inner corner to the middle, the inner third. with the eyes y'all um not a lot of fallout but the the glitter does have a little bit of fallout so you know keep that in mind uh, i don't actually even know if you can fucking buy this palette anymore but i i hope you can because it's stunning and beautiful and magical so what we are gonna do is our lashes 
because I can't wait to put these on. They are so beautiful. I will trim a little bit and you always want to trim from the outer corner because, I've mentioned this before, the inner corner is designed to already be a little bit shorter so it will fit easier in your inner corner. Unless you don't give a shit then trim wherever the fuck you want. I'm gonna let those settle for a second. Oh my god, they are so pretty. They are very long, but they are beautiful. And we're gonna tight line. I'm gonna take this Huda Beauty um, liner pencil that I got in my BoxyCharm a couple months ago-ish, maybe September box, I think, yeah. Um, this this pencil's really, really pigmented. It's quite, quite nice. So we're gonna tight line our upper lash line. always tickles so much. I definitely don't do this on myself every day because it makes my eyes water a bit. Okay, I'm gonna give these a curl and hope that it doesn't remove all the liner I just put on. That one's kind of freaky to use. Okay, those are the lashes. They are so pretty. Um, lips. Lips, 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 lips. Okay, I'm gonna take this NYX pencil. Um, Urban Cafe lip liner. It's like a nice brown. It's very creamy. We're gonna take this Whitney Simmons Bare Bud lip, lip uh, lipstick, and this is her Tarte Lab, and this is such a pretty shade, you guys. And, and it's very light, so I feel like this will be a nice contrast. Oh, I just need to fix the fuck out of that lip line because it looks like a dumbass did it. <laughs> Maybe a dumbass did do it. Um. Okay, I am. For sure into that lip combination. I think it looks super cute and I think that it matches this look pretty well. Um, okay now it's time for some setting spray and then we're really done. So I've been loving my Charlotte Tilbury Airless <laughs> Airbrush Flawless setting spray and then in my boxy charm I got a another setting spray. This is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist and I have I've sprayed this in my face but I didn't have any makeup on it. I just wanted to see what it felt like. Um, and it has a fantastic mist so I kind of want to use it today. It's like an aerosol can. Um, anyways look at it. So nice. It has just like a very light scent. Like a nice fresh scent. It's nothing crazy. The Charlotte Tilbury one is quite fragranced. It's like putting perfume on your face. But it does a great job at holding your makeup in. Anyways, let me shut the fuck up right now. Uh, mist. I feel like this is one you could definitely go overboard with because the mist is so fine. Kind of like the hourglass one. But it feels good. And the scent is not crazy. I really like the scent a lot. Are these people having the longest shower in the planet? I'm gonna say yes. Alright you guys, so this is today's final look. I guess it kind of turned into like a fall makeup look, which I'm not mad about because it's fucking fall now. Um, this is the most beautiful palette, I think, ever. Um, I can't wait to just continue to play with this palette. It is super nice. They blended together so well. Like this one shadow right here, oh my god. Literally feels like you're touching butter. Like it's so, so soft. I'm very excited to have this palette now in my possession and to be home so I can use it and put some fucking makeup on my face because I missed it. I missed doing uh, YouTube videos. I think that's all I have to say right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, I don't know, had a good time? <laughs> I hope you had a good time. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a little like if you liked it. and. Uh, what else is there to do? Share it. You could share it if you want. Please <laughs> tell your peeps, tell your friends. Um, if you want, if you don't want to, don't do it. Don't have to, but I'd appreciate it. 
Um, okay, you guys. I'm gonna shut the fuck up now and go make some avocado toast. I hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.